So here we have it again. The ten dimensions of string theory are the ten dimensions of our minds. And these ten dimensions incorporate the quantum level, the general relativity, the position, the position of objects in our virtual reality. So we part of our virtual reality. We're not a separate object moving around in dimensions, that is only our interpretation. We're part of the greater mind, of the development of all these dimensions. The part of reality we need to get real, get in touch, take responsibility and connect and understand. Understand the dimensions and how they fit together. How the video, the audio and the precious signal are all integrated into the super pixel, which is the super pixel of the of the image, the pixelated image of the virtual reality in which we live. So it's a conceptual structure. There we have that structure. So as I said, this becomes you know the intent and that becomes a level of judgment or you know criticism of that intent. This can be a following a signal, follow an example, and that can be yes or no. If, you know what I mean? At one level, you see this is the breast, and that's the mother, the face, and that can be refuse the food or act to give the food, reward, punishment. Stimulus, then response. Reward, punishment. Here we have, as I said, the differentiation of different areas of the signal. So we can identify different patterns, different areas. Now remember, as well as identifying images, we fill in details. These two pixels are responsive to our imagination. This is the sphere of imagination, of intelligence. We can create that image. Once we get a few details, we fill in the detail, fill in the picture. You know, through one object is solid, we assume that every other thing that we see is also solid. You know, we, we check this. You know, we believe it and it's there. We create the image. We create the, the image in the present. Now, in this one, this is our attention. Or, uh, you know, all the time. This is our schedule and space, the time and energy we move around and live our lives or play music and interact with drama. All these dramas can be explained on an energy level here. And then here we have the pressure and the flow of objects before things. So we have all the all the meanings of work, of exercise, you know, of the physicality in the pressure triangle. The touch here. This is moving the object roll, holding it still. This is the flow of the pressure signal, the flow of objects, the flow of things to our hand, which can be drama, sculpture, work, but just the experience of life, of, you know, buying and selling, you know, selling objects, the flow of things. Here we have this can be scale and rotation of these objects. This is object relations. And they can be scaled and rotated. That's the scale and rotated that can fit in. Does it measure up? Does it fit in? It fits in. We need different aspects of our minds and meanings in relationship. How we develop from these dimensions. So here we have the audio triangle. Space and time. Place and time. Smell, hearing, and sound, and then the sense of the heat, the energy. Here we have the, the, the temperature, whether it's either close or far apart, and the pressure is getting closer to home or farther apart. As we're building up intensity in the music, in the interaction, in the drama, on the audio, you know, the separation of musical sounds, and there we have the resonance and dissonance. You know, the different elements in the drama, the different characters and their interaction on an energy level. <coughs> 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 the 
connection between these two, <coughs> there we have supply and demand. So there's the supply of fuel or there's the demand for energy. Then there's the supply of fuel. Here we have adaptation and sensitivity. So we're sensitive to the touch and then we adapt. So for example, we wear clothes, we don't feel our clothes. We adapt to the environment. We endure an environment or we can be sensitive to changing that environment. This is this function here. This is about sequencing, about time and the object. You know, logistics, the chest problem. You know, how should we, you know, Tetris. How should we interlock them? How should we put them together? So there's the flow of objects in the work program, which is the schedule. Schedule is not fitting with the attention of it, is how the word right or wrong is in the world, is it good or bad. 